Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Now in this video we're going to be migrating the reverse proxy Let's Encrypt into the new container called Schwag. Sounds interesting? Then let's get started. Okay, so you might have heard that the Docker container, the reverse proxy called Let's Encrypt, has changed its name to Swag. Now I've had a whole bunch of people message me asking how to migrate from Let's Encrypt to the new Swag container. So I'm going to migrate mine now, so come along for the ride and see how it's done. Okay, so first I'm going to show you the quickest way to transfer from Let's Encrypt to Swag. Now in my opinion this isn't the best way to do it, but it is the quickest way and I'll show you why I don't think it's the best way when I finish doing it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the container and now I'm going to go and edit the template and all I'm going to do is change the repository here from Linux Server Let's Encrypt to Linux Server Schwag. I'm also going to change the name of the container, I'm going to change that to Schwag as well. And everything else I'm going to leave exactly the same. Now you can see here that the app data is pointing to the Let's Encrypt app data. I'm not going to change this. And with that done, just click on to apply. Okay, you can see it's pulling down the container. Okay, so that's done. So now we can see the container is called Schwag. If I start it up and run it, yeah, it's still got the icon for Let's Encrypt. But I'm going to look at the log. And we can see here everything's ready, saying server ready. So the container's working fine. Now if you didn't want to have the icon here, then just stop the container and edit the template again and switch from basic view onto advanced. And then here you can see the icon URL. Just go to the end here and change where it says let's encrypt ping at the end and change it to Linux server hyphen ls hyphen logo dot png. So with that done, just update the template. And so now we've got the correct icon, the correct name, but the app data is pointing to Let's Encrypt. So what I can do just to make things tidy is just rename this as well to Schwag. So again, I'm going to stop the container. So here I am in the app data folder. So I'm just going to rename the Let's Encrypt app data to Schwag. Now I'll close this window. Now I'm going to go back into the container, scroll to the bottom of the template and change the app data configuration path from Let's Encrypt to Schwag and then click apply. Okay, so now the container is migrated from Let's Encrypt to Schwag. The app data is named correctly and I've got the correct icon. Now, the reason I don't like to do this is because I don't like using the original app data. Now, if I go here and open the terminal window and now let's have a look at some of the files in the app data. If we look, for instance, at this file here, the proxy.conf, now we can see the version I've got here is from 2018 because this file wasn't updated at all. So a lot of the files in the app data are old files and there's newer ones that are available. So now if I go across to another server and go to the Docker tab here, on this server I updated this container in a different way, which I'm about to show you how. Now if I go to the same file, the proxy.conf file here, you can see here that the version is from 2020. So what I'm just trying to show you is basically in the new version of the container, there are new files, new configuration files. Some of them are slightly different to the older ones. So I always think it's better just to update the container and have a fresh app data folder and have everything as it should be. So let's go across and do that now. So now I'm gonna rewind in time to when I upgraded this and show you how I got to here. Okay, so here we are a few days ago when I did this. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stop my Let's Encrypt container. Now I'm going to go here and I'm going to click Edit so I can view the template. And I'm going to open up a new tab into the Apps tab. And I'm going to type in Swag. Click on the button to download. And now here we are in the new Swag template. So now I've got both templates open. I'm going to try and put these now side by side. Okay, so there are the templates side by side. So here's my old Let's Encrypt template, and here's the new Swag template. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that everything in the Swag template is exactly the same as in my Let's Encrypt template. So here I'm gonna change my port to match to 180, the HTTPS port to 1443, and the email address to my email address, 
and the domain to my domain. Now, obviously, this isn't my email address and my domain. I'm just using these for privacy. Now under subdomains, just copy out whatever you've got in your Let's Encrypt container and put it across into the subdomains onto your swag container. Because I'm using a wildcard certificate, I've only got the one called wildcard. Again, for only subdomains, make that the same. For me, that's true. Oh, okay, and one thing that we mustn't forget, we must make sure that the network type's the same. In my Let's Encrypt container, it's set for ProxyNet, so I need to make that the same in Schwag. Now, under validation, you want to put the type of validation that you've got, and I'm using DNS validation. And as you can see here, the DNS plugin that I'm using is the Cloudflare one. And the app data, I'm not going to change that, that's the thing I'm going to leave exactly the same. Now you can see here there are some extra things in this container, and when I go through my full setup video on Swag, we'll go all into that then. But so now both of my templates are the same. So I'm going to click on to apply here, and pull down the container, and click on to done. Now I'm going to go back to my Docker tab. Okay, so with the container running, let's stop the container. So now in our Let's Encrypt container, we're going to have app data with configuration files that we're going to need to have in the Swag container. So I'm going to copy those across now. Now the commands I'm using, you'll find these in the description of the video. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the configuration files for each of my domains. They all end in .conf. So this command will copy all of those and put them into the right place in the Swag app data. Okay, so those are my files copied across there. Now, because I'm using DNS verification for my SSL certificate, I need to copy my credentials across to the Swag container as well. Now, I'm just going to look inside of here, and here are all the files for the various different types of DNS verification you can do. Now, I want to empty this folder, so I'm going to type in the following command, which is going to remove all of the files inside of here, and hit Enter. And now if we look inside the folder, it's empty. So now I want to copy all of the ones that were in my Let's Encrypt container in the same folder in Let's Encrypt to this same folder in Swag. So I'm going to hit Enter. Okay, so it's copied all of those files across. And so now I can close this window and I can start up Swag. And if I go across to the log file, you can see here it's making a new certificate. Okay, so the new certificate's been generated and it now says server ready, so everything's done. So now I'm going to close the log and then open up a subdomain and check that it's working. So I'm going to open up my Bitwarden subdomain and that's working fine. Now there's one thing we are going to have to look at is if you're running Nextcloud, we're going to have to make a little adjustment inside of Nextcloud. Now before making the change, Nextcloud you can still actually log into its web UI. But we need to make a little change inside of the configuration file of Nextcloud for everything to be perfect. So before we make that change, we just need to stop the container. And when the container stopped, we just need to open up a terminal window. And now I'm going to edit the Nextcloud configuration file using nano. Now this command is in the description if you want to copy and paste it. And now in this configuration file, we want to look for where it says trusted proxies. And I'm going to change the name from Let's Encrypt to swag and control and O to write it out and control and X to exit. Okay, so that's the next cloud edit done. So now that I've migrated my Let's Encrypt container across to swag, I may as well just delete the original Let's Encrypt container now. And so now the container's removed, I'm also going to remove the corresponding app data folder too. Let's type rm hyphen r forward slash mnt forward slash user forward slash app data forward slash let's encrypt. Okay, so there's the app data gone. So there's nothing left for us to do now. So that brings us on to the end of the video. Now I am going to make a new video about setting up Swag from scratch for all you people who haven't got a reverse proxy already set up. So keep a look out on the channel for that video soon. Now before I go, I just want to say a really big thank you to all of my Patreons and supporters out there who make these videos possible. Thanks guys so much, I really really appreciate it. And for anyone out there who enjoys the channel and would also like to help support it and join these great bunch of people, then please see the links in the description below. Anyway guys, it's time for me to go now, but whatever you're up to for the rest of the day, I hope it's good and I'll catch you in the next video.